Are you truly living life or merely surviving? Whether you want more time, more love, more money, or whether you want it all, we want to help you get there. The best part? Everything you want lies on the other side of fear and self-doubt. It's time to take the leap with your host, Tiffany Toombs. Hello, everyone, and welcome back for episode two of the Take the Leap podcast. I am very honored and blessed today to be joined by my very dear friend and the woman that I trust with my brain when limiting beliefs and things pop up for me, my dear friend from Australia, Kathy Valentine. Well, hello. I love this. We get to chat. We get to hang. You're one of my favorite people in the world. This is brilliant. (laughs) Awesome. Thanks so much. So, Kathy, why don't you um, start out and just tell us a little bit about what you do and who you are and kind of what your, you know, what your bigger vision and what your why is. Wow. Okay. All the big questions straight up. (laughs) Yeah. There's no messing around. I'm just like, oh, we're going all in. Yeah. (laughs) All right. What do I do? I work with people who have decided that they no longer want to be shackled by their past patterns of behaviour, by their bad habits, by the limiting beliefs they have about themselves and what the world can offer. You know, people who have decided that enough with the fear, the anger, the shame, the guilt, all of that. And what we do is we work on clearing that so that they can live now, day to day, in um, beautiful clarity with real vision and real purpose. So that's what I do. Awesome. Mm-hmm. I love it. And that's why I trust you. So we're, we're trained in the same modalities. Um, mm-hmm. And, you know, that's why I trust you to uh, work with my mind when it starts going a little bit crazy on me. So, uh, what, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so what made you decide that you wanted to do this, to pursue this path? Um, I found this at a time when I, I had a 30-year marriage that ended and it probably took about six years for it to dissolve. And by the time the marriage was ended, I was completely lost and broken. And I had no idea what to do, where to go. I spent every night crying, hoping I wouldn't wake up in the morning, and every morning sobbing because I didn't know how I'd get through the day. I was lonely. I was fearful. Name a fear, I probably had it. I, you know, whether it was financial insecurity, fear of not being able to get along on my own, fear of what I should do. Um, So many limiting beliefs about what I was capable of. Um, There was also shame and guilt. I I had the whole bundle. And I was fortunate enough to be at a seminar where my mentor, your mentor, our mentor, Pip Mackay, was giving a keynote speech. And here was this really happy person speaking. And to be honest, she irritated me because nobody should be that happy. And I was not in a space where I could really enjoy other people's success and enthusiasm. But she kept saying things that kept hitting home. And she was saying that we had a choice and that we could let go not just hold down all of these limiting beliefs, but we could actually remove them and clear them and that we could just shed all this and get on living the life that we want to lead. And I didn't know if it was true. I was very cynical. However, for me, it had to be true because I didn't have another option. And so I then I went and I went to a free event that she had And from there, I signed up for everything. And from the day one, when I walked in to the first day, I knew that I had found what I was looking for, not just for me, but also for what I wanted to do. And so from there, oh, and I met you. (laughs) That's one of my favorite part of your stories. 
<laughs> mine too. So from there, why? Because it so transformed my life and so quickly that I knew that I needed to, to um, do this work and help others who were ready to transform their lives too. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Mm -hmm. So what was the point? So you, you had done all this study with her. You had watched your life transform. Um, you're actually a licensee as well now with PIP. So, you know, you're one of, um, what, seven of us um, that have the ability to, it, you know, one of seven in the world that have the ability mm -hmm. to um, teach her life work and share her life's work and these processes that have transformed the lives of thousands of people um, you know you're one of the few that has been afforded that opportunity so how did that opportunity come about I know isn't that just something incredible I guess I was I was coaching and I was really enjoying coaching and I kept going back and working with Pip because I just knew that the more I heard, the more I wanted to, to do. And then she invited me to be a licensee. And that was a moment that was almost overwhelming because I had on the New Year's Eve, I had written a um, goal list and it was one day I'm going to be a licensee for Pip Mackay. Now at that time I didn't even know that she had licensees or that she was even thinking about licensees but I just knew that I wanted to teach her work and then about three or four weeks later I saw that she was having a meeting with people that she had chosen to be licensees. And I went, oh no, I'd missed the boat. Why didn't I speak sooner? Then I went, no, 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 breathe, breathe. It's okay. You've only just said you want it. This will happen. And so I sent her a message congratulating her and saying, I'm so thrilled for you. If ever you want more, give me a call because I'd love to be the next, the next ring out from the inner circle. And she called me immediately and said, I had no idea that you would be interested in doing this. I knew that you loved the work and you were doing it, but I thought you were really busy with other things. And I said, no, 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 this is what I want to do. So it was from there that I jumped on board and started, as you know, the rigorous training <laughs> Beautiful. to learn everything. Mm. So talk about manifesting. Mm, right within six weeks I had what I wanted and it when I wrote it down I didn't even know it was a thing beautiful mm. I love it and mm. I also what I love as well about your story is that you actually asked for the opportunity a lot of people I think and I've seen a lot of people do this where they would have you know seen that she already had licensees and just gone well, I've missed the boat, there goes that one, and kind of go back to the world that they have. But I think that's the difference about people who, when they do decide to go all in on themselves, is they're not, you know, they're not afraid to ask for that opportunity. So when you were sending her that message, what was going through your head? Well, it was really, it was my heart. My heart felt like it was expanding. And I just, there was, my head was sort of doing the, oh, look at that, you've missed out. But my heart was, was, and everything else was saying, no way, this is what's going to happen. You just need to, you know, make the call, take the call. And, um, yeah, it was at that stage where those small limiting beliefs and negative self-talk was so outweighed by everything else that was going on that, yeah, I just knew. I just knew. I think that's the thing. When... You really understand your calling. Mm -hmm. You just have to go for it. Like that's it. You just have to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love I love that um, that description of your heart and everything else just expanding, and that you know it doesn't matter what the mind is saying. It's just like no, this is what I have to do. Like there, there's just no other way. Mm -hmm. So I love mm -hmm. that. Um, okay, so. Tell everyone listening, what was your, what's been your biggest lesson that you have learned while, the, while going on this journey of going all in on yourself? I think the biggest lesson for me is honestly 
truly learning to believe that anything is possible. And not just for me. I mean, for me, I'm still staggered. When I walk around training events and I see people that are coming in and doing this work and shifting really heavy loads from their soul and from their heart and breaking free, I just have to pinch myself. I go, this is my work. Like, this is what I do for a living. And it's, I just am constantly amazed that I have been offered the opportunity that, that, you know, I chased it, I wanted it, and I got it. So, yeah, anything is possible. That's the biggest lesson I've learned is to just trust. You know when it's the right thing. You just know because everything's pushing you in that direction. And um, you just have to trust and take that leap. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. I love that. Just take that leap of faith and go all in. Mm -hmm. So what has been your biggest win? What's, you know, what's your favorite thing that has happened for you or to you on this journey that you want to celebrate? Wow. Apart from becoming a licensee, which was pretty huge. (laughs) um, I don't, I think for me, the biggest win, well, the most wonderful thing that happened was when all of the licensees went to New Caledonia and we had the opportunity then to go even deeper in um, level three and to learn how, all about level three and to share that experience with each other. It was, it was something really special because we were already on the same journey but because we were geographically in different places, that was incredibly special and I think that sits in my heart for um, and keeps me going. And, and even though we are geographically distant, we are all so tightly together and so tightly knit. And that for me has been the biggest celebration out of everything. I see on a daily basis, I see and celebrate what my clients achieve because that's always a win and you get beautiful texts or you get testimonials and you get all these wonderful um, sharing of experience from them. But yeah, what we have and what we had, that to me is um, brilliant. Mm. Yes, that, that definitely was a very special trip and life changing for sure. Yeah, absolutely. What would you say is, um, and I'm going to throw a question at you that I didn't tell you I was going to ask, but uh, what, what would you say has been the, the biggest transformation that you've seen with a particular client? Oh, okay. I had a client who was 24 years old and he was a social recluse. Mm. He, his mother and grandmother had raised him and he and they loved him and adored him but they'd grown up in eastern europe during communism and when his grandmother would wave his mother off to school every day there was every chance that she might not get home safe it was a really dangerous time however they're living in australia now and they were still living with all those fears and insecurities So that when he went to school, his grandmother would cross herself every day. They would never let him do anything. They would still, when he was 15 years old, his grandmother would meet at the school bus. I mean, he was so humiliated. But what he grew up believing was that the world was completely unsafe and he couldn't survive in it. And I worked with him and I watched him transform into somebody now who is out there, can hold down a job, can interact with people and is still, he's still, you know, working on himself and I love, but he has such faith in himself now and a belief that he can do things. Whereas before he wasn't even going to try. Before, whenever I'd ask him a question, the default answer was, I'm not sure. And I'd go, yes, you are. (laughs) Yes, you are, you know. And now he does. He has an opinion and he has... Um, strength and he has ambition and he has goals and that to me has been the biggest transformation so much so I even his mother has sent me beautiful um, 
testimonials and beautiful letters saying, you know, thank you for giving me my son back. Mm, that's you no, know, it's been, yeah, really lovely, really, really special. Mm. Oh, I love that. Beautiful. Mm. All right. So the last question then for today is what advice would you have for other people who want to go all in? Uh, maybe they're kind of standing on the edge of that burning building, not quite ready to take the leap of faith. Um, what, what would be your biggest piece of advice or your top three things that, uh, that you would say to them? Oh, I think the first thing would be what happens if you don't take the leap? What's the consequences of not taking the leap? Mm. I, yeah. That's actually, that's really awesome. I think, um, you know, so many people get stuck in the, what are the consequences of what if I fail or what if people judge me, but we never talk about, you know, what would happen if, if we don't. Yeah. That's yeah. Because, yeah. Yeah. And I think for me, that for me, I look back and I don't even want to imagine what my life would have been like if I didn't take the leap mm. because it just, my life now has been so expansive and has expanded so much into areas I could never imagine just because I did. Mm. Beautiful. Any other mm. advice that you have for people who want to take a leap? Is to really trust yourself you know that if there's a fire burning in your heart that it's the right thing to do that you need to make it happen and don't let logic and the brain rationalizing everything and fear talk louder than than your heart and that burning because if you let them you won't take the leap and all they are, uh, in a way, they're trying to protect you, but they can't keep you safe by keeping you small and keeping you surrounded by fear. You need to break through the fear. Awesome. Mm. I love that. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you so much for joining me and for being my very first guest. There was nobody that I would have rather have in that first interview position on my new podcast. So thank you so much for joining me. I feel so totally honored and there is nobody I would rather share a podcast with. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so just for everyone listening, tell us where they can find you on social media, what your future holds. They can find me on social media at Kat Valentine or Kathy Valentine on Facebook. Kathy Valentine underscore on Instagram. Find me on catvalentine.com.au. Um, yeah, send me links, send me hi, send me any questions. I just love sharing what I know. Beautiful. And so what does the future look like for you? What's up? What's your next project that you're taking a leap into? Oh, my next project that I'm taking a leap into, I've been working a lot with people clearing limiting beliefs and getting themselves started. And what I've realized more and more is that this day it's harder for people to find heart connections, that there's so much confusion and angst and cynicism and prejudice around dating. So what I want to do is dive in there and help people clear out what's going on in their own hearts so that then they can find somebody that they can truly connect with. Because as you and I know, when you find that someone, it sort of opens up the world again in a way that you didn't know was possible. Yes, that's yeah. very true. I'm very excited to watch this project of yours unfold. Thank you. Perfect. All right, well, thank you so much. And uh, we'll be here again next Wednesday for episode number three. Take care and... Uh, Please be sure to leave me a review on iTunes so that more people can find this podcast and so that we can inspire more people to go all in and take that leap of faith on themselves.